Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to add attributes to our product grid listing here. And uh, we're going to go over this template a little bit that you used to do this. If you'll notice, I did add some CSS to make these things uh, floating left. However, I'm going to add a clear fix because it's doing some funky stuff. So we'll be adding that clear fix in our template as well. But uh, basically, what we need to get started is we need to pick an attribute. I've decided that I wanted these monitors to show the resolution on this page so you can see the resolution before you even go into the product. So to do that I've gone into the um, resol the max resolution attribute by going to attributes manage attributes and then finding the one that I want displayed. Okay so there's a couple things I want to make sure of here. I want to make sure the scope is set to global um, and I've, in fact I'm not even 100% positive on the requirements for it to show up on the front end. I just know that uh, these are probably the minimum requirements. So uh, you don't have to worry about search. You don't have to worry about compare. Um, we don't have to worry about promo rule conditions. Uh, however, we want tags on the front end. We want this to be visible on the view page on the front end. And we want this to be used in the product listing. This is the important one right here. And we don't care about sorting. Uh, so I'm going to save this make sure that that is all correct and now i'm going to go to our monitors page and typically what we would have you do is go to configuration developer and turn on your block stuff like usual so you can see the template that this page is using but i know for a fact that this is using the list template so i'm going to go to my templates and uh, under default template catalog and then a product i'm going to move over and we're going to see this list uh, dot PHTML. This is the one that we want. So I'm going to uh, hold option and copy this file and I'm going to throw it into my template catalog and product folder in my own theme and then now that I have this I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text 2 and we're going to go through this file. So this file is really uh, important because this pretty much contains the product listing for our list and grid. And you can see if we want to make sure we're in the right template, before we get into this PHP, I'm just going to write test in here. I'm not going to put any tags or anything. I'll refresh this page, and you'll see test right here. So this is where this template's starting, and if I were to put another test, it would plot one out down here because uh, that's where this is ending. So if PHP scares you, don't worry. We can go through this, and uh, you don't have to know any PHP to do this because I'm going to tell you what to write, uh, and you will start to understand some PHP. So let's scroll down here. If you'll notice, this file is broken into two sections. The first one, um, it might be a little weird to see this, but you can see this comment that says list mode. So this is saying that the first little block here, all this stuff, is used to generate the list mode. Uh, the list mode is you notice on this page you can see view as grid or list. You know, uh, that's just options. Sometimes I turn off list entirely. It really depends on what the client wants. So uh, we're just going to leave grid. I'm not going to worry about list because it's really the same thing. You can just copy and paste it. Uh, but if we scroll down here a little bit further, you can see grid mode. So this is where the grid mode stuff starts. In fact, if you sort of look through this, you can see this is a UL, this is our products grid. In fact, this is what I'm going to add a clear fix to. I'm just going to write clear fix. I'm going to save this as a class. I'm going to refresh this, and it should fix some stuff here. Okay, so now it fixed all this. It's now showing up where it should. Okay, here's our product still. It's all good. So let's go through here, and you can see in this list item, we have an anchor tag, and it's saying product get product URL um, and then uh, basically this is printing out the link to the product um, and then inside of that link is the catalog image. It's doing some fancy stuff to resize the image. Don't worry about too much. Know that this block right here outputs the image. Uh, down here we have an H2. This outputs the uh, title. You can tell because uh, it says product get name and it's within an H2. So one way you can think of this is you can look at this code and sort of see the HTML. Then you can come back to your own page. You can inspect this and see what this looks like. Here's the H2 with a class of product name. So that little bit must be outputting this little chunk of HTML. So there's some things like this review ratings. 
I don't ever plan on having ratings in the grid mode of my theme whatsoever. So I'm going to delete this whole block that says if product grid, uh, rating summary exists, you know, then echo it, then print it. So I'm going to just delete this whole bit. And this is where I'm going to put my attribute stuff. So I'm just going to give me some space here so you can see this. And we're going to type uh, less than question mark PHP. And this is just an opening PHP tag. And then we're going to do question mark greater than. And inside here, we're going to type. We're going to type echo. And then we want our product. So if you look at some of these other examples, to get anything for the product, it's under dollar sign underscore product. So dollar signs how you have a variable in PHP. Uh, and underscore product is the variable that houses all the product information. So and then I'm going to have arrow greater than. And this is where it uh, has a little bit of magic involved here. We have our product title or an attribute title, which was max resolution. Um, you see some of these things like get name and get price HTML. Well, we're going to type get. And then we're going to type our um, attribute name. So max space resolution. OK. And the thing is here, you can't have a space. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete the space. And notice this is camel cased. Git is lowercase, but then m is uppercase and the r is uppercase. And then after this, we're going to put parentheses and our semicolon. And I'm going to save this. Keep in mind, if you don't have the semicolon, or keep in mind, if you mess some of this stuff up, you might see some funky stuff going on your page. Take a second to make sure your code looks just like this. OK, now I'm going to come to our page, refresh. And there's our resolution popped out right there, exactly where we wanted it to. In fact, uh, this, is a, but this isn't quite what I need. I actually want. Um, I want some information there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a paragraph tag like this. And then inside of this paragraph tag, I'm going to write, um, actually, I'm going to say max space resolution. And this is just like we would be writing HTML. And then I'm going to have a colon space. And then here, it's going to print out the max resolution. Close that paragraph tag. Save it. Refresh. Cool. Now it says max resolution it gives the resolution. Well, you might be thinking, what happens if a product doesn't have a resolution? Let's say we picked um, a computer, right? Let's say we picked, let's go to electronics computers. And this, uh, this computer doesn't have a resolution. Uh, so this, this field is blank here, but it still says max resolution. In fact, even if we went to our apparel, our shirts, our shoes, it's going to say max resolution, and we don't want that. So we need to have a little bit more PHP to say only show this max resolution if it exists. So I'm going to tab this over, and above this, I'm going to do another open PHP tag. I'm going to say if, and then inside of parentheses, we're going to just grab this whole dollar sign product max resolution bit uh, minus the semicolon and paste it in here. And this is going to say if anything exists here. And then let's put a, a colon, question mark, uh, close that PHP tag. And then down here, we need to close this if statement. So end if. And then we need a semicolon here. I'm going to save this. So again, take a second to make sure your code looks like this. Pause the video, check it out, um, especially if you are having problems. So now let's come back to our page, refresh. And now max resolution shows up for these computers. Let's go to our shoes, and we should see nothing. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. It's not outputting when we don't want it to. It's outputting when we want it to. Everything is, is awesome is great. Okay, so that's how you output an attribute in your list.phtml. And that's how you modify this, um, this list code here. In the next lesson, we're going to be going over some more modifications, I'm just going to basically be deleting a lot of this stuff. And we're gonna get this looking good. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions, please throw this up on Twitter, leave a comment on the video, let us know what you're thinking. And thanks for watching. Bye.